Hey family, welcome back to the channel, Cook and Barbecue 24-7. Today I'm gonna to show you how I cook some of the best barbecue my family and friends love so much, right here in my backyard. And this is how I get my fire started. This is how I get this nice, hot, cold bed started in this offset smoker. Stay tuned and keep watching. Hey, I'm gonna show you guys how I start my fire in my 24 by 55 Shirley Fabrication offset smoker with the insulated firebox with the v-basket it's very simple um guys this is how i start mine and you can take you know steps from me and add to your your cook and go from there i start off with one chimney full of unlit charcoal i believe in measuring it out every time just to be consistent in case something go wrong or trying to figure something out if your charcoal is all over the place your stick size all over the place there's too many variables so I start off with the same amount every time. One charcoal chimney full of unlit charcoal. And one stick. And guys, here's the catch 22 that I do for my pit mic style of cooking. I'm gonna use the weed burner. I'm gonna put the weed burner back here, like this backside. Uh, I'm gonna hold it there about 20, 20, 20 to 30 seconds. This right back side, 20 to 30 seconds. This front side, 20 to 30 seconds. This here, 20, for 30, 20 to 30 seconds. And once that is done, that tells me the coal is lit. It's almost there. Then I'm gonna hold the heat on this log. I'll probably start up front, just hold the, heat, the weed burn on it. Try to get this lit from somewhere up in here. Let this get heated up. I won't pull this weed burner out of this cooker until I have a nice flame and this log is burning with a nice low flame. And that tells me this log is heated and it's ready to go. And it's gonna reduce all that bad, thick, white smoke and just chugging and chugging and chugging. So that's what I do. You got the weed burner out, you got the fire, you got the heat, you might as well light the log up and go from there. But hey, no more talking, let's get to it family in the comments below let me know how you like to start your reverse flow or your offset smoker so many different ways let me know what method works best for you
there you have it family all your coals are lit and your log is lit it's not going to be a crazy rumbling fire this is going to just die down a little bit but as long as you have your log lit that'll cut down on all that heating process of that thick white smoke this is the process i do that's not right or wrong but this is what i like and um, as you can see, I'm about to shut her down, but I leave all the vents wide open, even the door crack. And you're going to see some thick white smoke, but it's going to clear up in no time. Hey family, it's been about six minutes. As you can see, the fire is still growing. Clear, real thin, light smoke, even with a little blue color to it. And I'm gonna even go ahead, you know, put my hand in and see how hot it is, see how clean it is. And it's clean and hot, man. So something as fast as seven, eight minutes, like getting that log lit all the way, it'll save you a lot of time and a lot of thick white smoke. Here we are family, it's been about 35 minutes. The log is light, all my coal is gone. We got a nice flame. I answer all my questions and respond to all my comments. I appreciate you guys taking your time out your busy day and watching my videos. Until next week, cook and barbecue 24 seven.